so I'm here to fix this uh, chimney shoulder. Um, the bricks are all spalled, water was getting in, lights are getting in, it's a big problem. The uh, homeowner got a friend of hers to put all this wood and caulking uh, to cover it up temporarily, which maybe uh, wasn't the best idea. Uh, so we're going to take this wood off and see exactly what's going on underneath. I'm going to take off all the bricks I can by hand first and chip whenever I have to. This is what I call corn flaking, when the bricks literally just turn to basic corn flake crumbs. Uh, this was a different kind of brick, it would erode like this. Now, i got to be honest as well, usually people fix their brick before it gets to this point. So if you see your bricks fall apart, Get it fixed while it's small maintenance repair before it gets to the point where they're all completely crumbled apart. A lot of this extra mortar here I'm leaving on for now because at the end of the job I'm actually going to make a little mortar bevel like that and that's going to protect the horizontal surfaces of the bricks from water penetrating and it's going to cover up any bits of core hole that are exposed. I've got all the mortar bevels on so that way when the water rolls down it's just going to shed really nicely down this whole uh, chimney shoulder. When I rebuilt it, I also built it at a slightly steeper angle than before so the water is going to shed a lot more uh, quickly so it's not going to sit on the brick, get in, do damage like it was doing before. I'm going to get a couple uh, limestone type sills and I'm going to put them on the top to cap off the top of the brickwork. I'm going to cut it at 45 degrees to make a miter cut. So when I put it on the corner, I got a nice clean line. We've got the main sill all cut, so that's basically going to cap the brickwork. It's going to close up the void in behind and tuck underneath the flashing here so that no water gets in. So I'll cut the return piece, get these guys laid in, and uh, be almost done. I'm just going to do the final pointing, final copy. And uh, we'll be all done, ready to clean up.